Today's episode is brought to you by Second Life Sex Toys. From the people who brought you bag tags reusable condoms in an effort to save the planet, Green Penis is proud to present an all new way to save the planet. We've all got those dildos that just don't get us off the way they used to. They're boring now. You've brought newer dildos. You were just an amateur butt slut when you got those butt plugs and you've graduated now. Well, what are you going to do with all your lightly used toys? Can't just ride them hard and put them away wet. You're starting to run out of space, aren't you? Let's face it, an old shoe box under the bed just won't cut it anymore. Your closets are filling up. What happens if your mom finds your toys? <gasps> the last thing you need is to walk in on your dog using a double-ended dildo for tug-of-war in front of your whole family. That's okay, because Second Life sex toys are here to help. Rehome after you moan. Don't throw away your sex toys when you can donate them. Dildos don't belong in the trash. They belong in someone else's ass. Simply drop off your goodies at any of our local donation bins. Free up that space. Second Life Sex Toys. Reduce, reuse, refuck it. We have been sued. Derek, what the hell? Ah, uh, don't blame me. Blame the sponsor. That is not the sponsor I picked for you. Stop changing them without asking me. You wanted us to do an ad for The Love Boat. Am I reading that correctly? Ooh, Sex Cruise? No, Derek, it's, um, oh. it's a special for a sushi boat. The restaurant down the street is running a promotion for them. Wait, seriously? That's it? Yes. Not everything has to be sexual, you guys. You two seem to have an unhealthy obsession with it. When are you going to realize that there's more to life than having intercourse? You only think that because you're about to enter a sexless marriage where all you do is eat tubs of vanilla ice cream, watch Grey's Anatomy, and masturbate to fan fiction about McDreamy because that's the only way you can get an orgasm anymore. Summer, that is false and very hurtful. Absolutely. I'm with Mandy on this. She would probably just rub one out while watching the show, crying and wondering why my husband won't touch me anymore. <gasps> Don't worry, Mandy. I got your back. Just start the show. Come on now. Here we go. I'm still what? I'm still single. I don't know what to do. I'm still single. I have no reason nor a clue why. I'm still single. Why must I wait? I'm still single. Someone find me a day. Hey, 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 hey. Someone please find me a date. Welcome back to Still Single. I'm your host, Summer, and I have a cavernous vagina. And I'm Derek, and I'm obviously single. I have shy penis syndrome, which means I can't get hard on command. I can get hard anytime I want, thank you. Whatever you say. It, it, oh, what? Excuse me? Oh, you don't believe me? Oh, I'll prove it. I'll fucking prove it. Come on, let me just do Yeah, do it. Yeah, oh, little yeah, limp yeah. dick Sally yeah. over here. What do you Derek, think you're doing? Derek, keep your pants on. Okay, so my instructions were pretty clear when we left off this past weekend, but I just want to make sure we're all on the same page, okay? Fine, but this isn't over. You're lucky I didn't bring my Vaseline to work. Okay, great. Everyone's all zipped up and ready to go. Now, last week I asked Summer and Derek to switch phones for the weekend with the purpose of pretending to be each other on their dating apps. They were supposed to have found a match for each other and set up a date. Did you do as I asked? Yes, mistress. Derek, what the fuck? Yeah, what the fuck? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was that was a little far. It's just, you know, it's the power dynamic thing. When someone's just so commanding and just commands me like that, it's just, ugh. Jeez. Yeah. Okay, we switched phones like you asked, and we tried to find each other dates, just like you asked. Okay, great. Let's get into them. Derek, do you want to go first? Um, sure. Yeah, I, yeah. Let me just do one last thing. I just gotta finish this text. Derek, who are you texting? Uh, n no one? Nobody? I was just pulling up the app. Okay, great. Good. Hand over Summer's phone so we can see who you picked out for her. But... Okay, great. Just give it to me. What are you doing? Okay, oh, no, I'm no, no. Like sounds of that um did you want to go first eric or is this just a dog ate my homework situation uh, not exactly it's 
It's just, uh, I, it just, I, I, I just got so many options for summer that I'm not sure how to pick one, silly. (laughs) Right. Well, that's not surprising. I am a catch. Just show me whatever your top tier candidate is. The hot one. Honestly, I'm just so glad the Ferrans you guys actually listened to me. So, which dating app did you use? Well, first I started off with Grinder. Grinder. Hmm, can't say I'm familiar with that one. Is that like um some sort of coffee themed dating app, like a uh, coffee meets donut? Eh, not exactly. Mandy, Grinder is like the truck stop of dating apps. First of all, it's a gay dating app where guys go to breed each other like they're trying to repopulate the earth through their assholes. Oh my god, Jesus Christ, Derek. Why the fuck would you put me on there? Well, you always said you were looking for a Prince Charming to fuck you into the sunset. So I thought I could find you a Twink Charming instead. You know, because Twinks and Prince have a lot in common. They're both hairless, wear tight pants, and are always writing something. You're a fucking dumbass. Hey, sorry, super quick. What's a Twink? Oh, no. Oh, my God. Mandy, do this? Like, we'll we'll just, we'll get to this later. We'll have this conversation another day. There really isn't enough time to categorize the entire gay community for you. Let's just say that Derek fucked up. Mm, Okay. So you didn't find anyone for Summer? I mean, not on that app. And all the guys kept asking me why the fuck I was on there. So I gave up and went on to Tinder. Thank God. (laughs) Well, who did you find? (sighs) I found the love of my life. For Summer. Okay, well, let me see him. I'll be the judge of that. Well, hang on a second. Well, okay, Miss Hansy, relax. I should mention I made some minor changes to your profile. Um, what types of changes? Uh, you know, just a little. Just switched out a couple of pictures, changed your bio. Derek, that wasn't part of the plan. Well, how else did you expect me to get her a match? All of her photos were outdated. I mean, she was still blonde in them. And it, and of course, she still had the picture of the Sarah Palin lookalike in there. That was a lawsuit waiting to happen. Also, her bio sounded like she was a suck-up bitch. So I had to change it. I mean, it's true, but it's we have okay, to pick what? it. No, I didn't sound stuck up. And also, of course, I had to get rid of my old brunette photos. I mean, I want people to think I'm a natural blonde or they'll never accept me into their circle. Okay, well, uh, we're just going to jump past that blonde part. And Summer, your bio was so problematic. I mean, you wrote, and I will share this with our audience. This is what she wrote. No, we don't need to. (sighs) Yes, this is what she wrote. This is what she wrote. And I quote, You're probably wondering what a hot girl like me is doing in a place like this. Well, if you meet my standards, you can find out. End quote. Yeah. What's wrong with that? A lot, Summer. A fucking lot. Okay, whatever. I like being clear about my expectations. (sighs) Let me just see this new profile. Wait, I'm not done explaining. Stop grabbing the phone. Give it to me. No, I'm so sick of this. I will grab your I arm in that place where we both know that it has I'm not healed properly since that freshman year accident. You guys are acting like children. Just give her the phone. No, wait a minute. Hang on. Don't go somewhere. Walk it out. Ow. Yeah, bitch. Okay, let's see. Um, Derek, <laughs> you didn't. <laughs> I, I thought I got rid of all those photos. Yeah, and I thought you stopped taking those kickboxing classes, and yet here I am. Anyway, I have some saved on a flash drive for an emergency. I took them up after I found them on Groupon, and you know what, Derek? They're going to come in handy because I'm going to kill you. Okay, relax. Wait, who is that? Um, For our listeners at home, it seems Derek has changed Summer's pictures to a woman with short black hair, a short tight black dress, and bright red lipstick. Mandy, let me introduce you to one of my best friends, Wanda. Who's that? Summer, would you like to tell her? (sighs) She's my drunk alter ego. Oh, so that is actually still you. Um, Drunk alter ego? You see, every time Summer mixes too many drinks and gets drunk, she puts on a short black wig, an even shorter, tighter black dress, hot red whore lipstick, and becomes Wanda. I fucking hate her. I don't even 
even know how she keeps finding the same wig and dress combo. I mean, I burn them every single time I sober up. Okay, not addressing most of that, which is frankly a little bit troubling, even for you two. Um, what's the difference between you and Wanda, um, aside from sobriety? You know, that's real funny, Mandy. Make a joke at my expense. I think you're just afraid that I'm a walking Christopher Nolan film and you don't know how to feel about it. Uh, for viewers at home, I'll break it down for you. She's nice, never yells at me, and she's tons of fun. So the complete opposite of the bitch that, I mean, Summer. Fuck off. She's a total hot mess. One time I woke up in a guy's car that she hooked up with the night before, and it was a Honda Civic. A fucking Honda Civic. Mandy, do you know who drives a Honda Civic? I, I drive a Honda Civic. Fucking broke-ass guys with less than $1,000 in their bank account and nothing good going for them. I basically fucked a homeless person. Summer, there are so many things wrong with what you just said, not even counting that last one, and I don't think I have the capacity to process it right now. All I'm trying to say is that Wanda will literally sleep with anyone. (laughs) Unlike you? Derek, she has no self-respect. I mean, a garbage truck has better standards of what it puts inside of itself than she does. I hate her so much. She's the reason Derek and I are banned from the UK. I'm sorry, banned? Like, from the whole country? Yeah. That was one hell of a spring break. Yeah, well, I wish I could remember it. You don't remember anything from the entire trip? Not really. Like, I remember bits and pieces for the most part. All I remember is landing in Heathrow Airport and waking up a couple days later to the sounds of Derek crying while he was watching Shrek the Musical on her flight home. It's a big, bright, beautiful world. But, but not for him. It's How'd you every time. put that on the flight? Uh, never mind. How long were you blacked out for? At least seven days. At least? Mm, I mean, yeah. It was kind of hard to keep track. But doing the math here, we were there for a week, but we started drinking on the plane. We were playing a game where we took a shot every time a flight attendant turned me down. Needless to say, we were drunk within the first hour. I mean, it's not that many flight attendants on an Air Canada flight, and Derek was really persistent. We got a lecture on why harassing the flight attendants should not be a drinking game. I mean, that air marshal was so lame. You're telling me, am I right? He got mad because he thought I was reaching for his gun. Like, are you kidding me? Absolutely not. I wanted his handcuffs so we could play handcuff me, daddy. Remind me to never travel with you two. No. Anyway, we landed. That's all I remember. Derek knows the rest. Oh, absolutely. We had a fucking blast. Wanda told me that if we fucked enough Brits, we'd get UK citizenship. It didn't work, but we have fun doing it. God, of course it didn't. How did we even get banned again? Well, Wanda wanted to meet Prince Harry and ask if the carpets matched the drapes, so we decided to sneak into Buckingham Palace. We dressed up as maids, and you know, like, you know what I'm talking about, like one of those maid costumes that you find on, like, Amazon, and... Let me tell you, I shaved my legs and put on a long jet black curly wig, and I look fucking hot. Like, I would fuck my house clean in that outfit. Anyway, we split up to cover more ground, but very quickly, one of the guards noticed that I was a man in a dress and started chasing me down the hall. I couldn't tell if he wanted to kill me or fuck me. Anyway, that's besides the point. As soon as he caught up to me, we both heard a loud shriek. And you want to know what that was? Oh, Mandy, you better cover your ears because the queen couldn't handle it, so I don't think you could. It turns out the queen caught Wanda sucking off one of her guards in her closet. Needless to say, we got detained, but they determined that we were too drunk to be deemed terrorists. So they just put us on a flight and told us to never come back. And we never did. Oh my god, Wanda made me fuck a guard? Really, Summer, the, the fact that that's the troubling part for you, that that in itself is troubling. And no, Derek, I did not cover my ears, so I know about the fact that the queen caught you performing fellatio on one of her guards. Oh, come on. She's seen worse things like that. I mean, she probably saw Prince Charles naked or something. I don't know. I'm not worried about that. I'm actually a pro. And also, the queen should have taken notes, okay? Although, 
having dentures probably helps in that department. Okay, I'm just mad about the fact that I was in Buckingham Palace and the best I was able to do was a guard. Like with those stupid ass fuzzy hats. Wanda couldn't get a duke or something. Like if I'm going to fuck someone with fucked up teeth, they should at least come from money. That way with a little encouragement, I can change them for the better and encourage them to get dental care. Kate hey, Summer, that that's enough. I'm I'm just going to stop you right there for your own good and the, the good of humanity. Um let's let's just get back to the dating app. So, you used Wanda's photos. Did you change her bio as well? I sure did. Oh god. Uh, Summer, relax. You haven't even read it, all right? Just read it. It's like something a British person would say, like, you'll love it. You have to do the accent, though. I have to do... Absolutely. Commit to the role. Commit. You know I'm not good at... at... Hot local Brit looking for someone to invade a queen's landing. Would you like to be the banger to my mash? Ew, what the fuck, Derek? I'm not even good at being British. And uh, there's no way I'm British. My teeth are way too nice to pass for one. I've been on enough vacations with Wanda to know even though that you aren't British, she absolutely is. After all, it's where she was born. Your subconscious manifests her in the UK. It's like... I... I, God, that makes me... What, like... A British 15, then? How does that math work? In ratings, Mandy, if Summer is a 10 here, she's a 15 over there. Because most people in the UK are... How do we say? Or, um... Or a little, Ugly. you know. I mean, well, no, we won't say that. I would just say if they got hit with a bus, maybe it would like... Summer, Derek, you know, stop insulting British people, for the love of God. Our show just cannot kill them to get a tan. Stop insulting British people. Our show cannot handle this many impending lawsuits. I mean, seriously, is there anyone you haven't offended yet? Um, uh... We haven't been offended Oprah. Yeah, I mean, like, why would we care to offend Oprah, right? Like, is she even relevant anymore? Like, it's it's just know. Oprah. I mean, I would fuck her on a private island, not in public. Yeah, but like, what has she shame. done lately? Like, the color purple? That like, question was rhetorical. Was... Anyway, all I'm saying is I just wish their teeth were, the British people's teeth, were as nice as their accents. Also, what the fuck is with their food names? I mean, Spotted Dick, Beef Wellington bangers and mash if you like having a dick in your mouth all you have to do is say so they don't even have to be so coded about it please stop fine and anyway derek just show me this dude um okay well i got the phone so let me just give me a second and here's herman oh my god you matched me up with a guy named herman what's wrong with that mandy let me ask you have you ever met a cute guy named herman Well, to be fair, I've never met anyone named Herman, but I don't like what you're implying here. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, after all. I mean, as long as they're hot. But that's what guys say to ugly girls, just to get in their pants. You're already off to a bad start here, Derek. Just show me a picture. Okay, here he is. Oh, God. What? Derek, no, this guy isn't my type. What? What do you mean? What's wrong with Herman? Oh, he's actually quite handsome. He has nice brown hair, pretty green eyes, and looks like he travels a lot because he has pictures of himself in France and Italy and Ireland. And oh, he even has a picture of his dog on here. He's perfect. Yeah, exactly. Nobody that perfect would be on here. They're usually snatched up by some stuck up bitch Barbie. Either he's a catfish or there's something wrong with him. You can't possibly get all that information just by looking at his picture. Really? You should read his bio. Um, doesn't look like there is one. Exactly. So he's a catfish. You don't know that for sure. Yeah, do you guys like that like to boast about how much they like to travel, work out, how much money they have, how much they love their dog. They have their Instagram linked in their bio, and they're usually a business major, if not someone who goes to CrossFit. You're telling me if we found the one guy on the internet who isn't self-absorbed or likes to brag about that? Summer, you promised that you would come into this with an open mind. Right, but this my mind is open and my legs are closed. No but, Summer. Derek has for once done something right. You should be appreciative. Exactly. Derek, show us our chat conversation. Uh, uh, what? Show us mine and Herman's chat conversation. Oh, oh, oh. So you mean like, um, right now? Right now now? 
yeah, live on the air. Y- you know what? Just give me back my phone right now. Just let me. I'll pull it no, up. It's fine. You clearly no, can't be trusted. Maybe you no, forgot the password. I don't no, know. No, 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 give it back to me. No, I'm serious. No, I'm not playing. Give, give it, back it to me, me now, Derek. No, give it to Remember, me. You always now. This is not one of your. I'm gonna hit you in the arm again. I'll do it. You just can't out. Take that, you little bit. Stop. Stop trying to steal my phone. Let's uh, open the chat really quick. What? The first thing this guy asked was if I was looking for a sugar daddy. And Derek responded, I'll suck your dick for a PS5. Derek, how could you? That's like borderline pimping or something. I don't know. But we're going to talk about this later. What? They're out of stock and impossible to get. Not that. It... You let me stick up for you. And I appreciate that. Are you telling me that you found nobody for summer? Well, no. Derek. Derek, why why is someone named the love of my life calling me? Wait, don't, don't answer that. Who is this? Adam? Oh, you're looking for Wanda. Well, I hate to break Wait. Wait. Yeah, is not existing. I'm right here. I'm right here. I'm right here. Oh my god. I'm right here. I am so sorry, my love. That was just my evil, unattractive assistant who is now fired. I'm sorry, but I really must go because I'm currently working. Pip pip, cheerio, Harry Styles, teas and crumpets. Derek, you have 30 seconds to explain what the fuck is going on. All right. So I did try to find a guy for summer but i found love for myself instead what so his name is adam we matched and we hit it off we have so much in common he's from britain and wanda's from britain his favorite animal is a kangaroo and wanda loves kangaroos him and wanda both have gotten high and had an orgy with the off-brand blue man group the purple guy squad Oh my god, that actually happened. I thought it was just a fever dream. Summer, ugh, this isn't about you, okay? Anyway, during our time texting, we confessed our love for each other. And now he's dying to meet me. Well, Wanda. Me, Wanda. So you're catfishing this guy? Mm, I wouldn't call it catfishing. More like fly fishing, you know, because it's still... Derek, you're a catfish named Wanda. Okay, bad. Fair enough. Side. Derek, you're straight up lying to this guy. None of the information you told him is true. Well, except for the orgy, apparently, which explains why my vagina was purple for a month. Derek, why didn't you tell me about this sooner? I hit my ex with my car because I thought he gave me some super rare STD. Wanda told me not to tell anyone. Derek, are you kidding me? You... You promised my alter ego something and then lied to my face. You watched me go to how many STD clinics looking for an answer. I spent so much time trying to figure out what to do and no one knew what I had. Well, a pinky promise is a pinky promise. <sighs> that bitch. Anyway, what is your end goal here? Like, are what are you going to tell him? Well... I was hoping Wanda and him can go on a date that I will crash, and once he sees me, he'll fall in love with the real me and forget all about Wanda. Oh, hell no. Me and Wanda are not getting involved with you and your bullshit. Please. Fuck no. Uh, Come on, Summer. I never ask you for anything. You always ask me for everything. Okay, name one thing I've asked you for. You literally asked me for $5 as soon as I sat down today. I said, good morning, Derek. You said, can I have $5? Fine. Fine. I guess I'll go with plan B. Okay, first of all, I'm still caught up in Summer hitting her boyfriend with her car on purpose. But um, we can talk about that later. I'm making a list. Um, What's purple vagina, Mandy? A blue waffle didn't have anything on that purple vagina, let me tell you. Okay, you know what? It's fluffy and pink now and we don't need to worry about it. Okay, I, this is more than I need to think about the color of people's genitalia, especially yours. Well, I suppose it's smooth. It's like, have you ever seen a pink dolphin, Mandy? No. They're very rare. Just like my snatch basket. Okay, Derek, what's your plan B? Call him and tell him Wanda died in a car accident. We'll bond over our grief and fall in love. Then he'll ask me to marry him. We'll have a honeymoon in Cabo. And finally, we'll adopt a daughter and name her Wanda. Oh, it would be just like the notebook. 
Except for I'll be Rachel McAdams, of course. All right. I, I don't have the patience to unpack any of that. Um, Summer, could I at least trust that you've done your job? Um, don't like the sound of that either. Okay. Well, after I got a couple of fraud alerts on my Amazon, I sort of figured what Derek was up to. So I messed around on Scrub It Up Daddy to pay him back. But is that a real thing? Mm-hmm. What is it? Um... Well, for your virgin ears, it's a very, very specific dating site. Okay, I'm not even going to address the virgin ears. How specific? Well, it's for dudes who like to hook up in bathtubs. You text each other an address and you're both expected to bring your own towel and rubber ducky. Can't forget that. So it sounds to me like although I couldn't find love this week, you're juggling two hunks there, sports, because I found an absolute something of a, a teddy bear dilf. Okay, all right, Summer. Let me see. Oh, oh, oh! Mm-hmm. Oh, his name is Chico. Oh, well, that that sounds like kind of a cute name. Let me see. Oh, 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 oh! I get it now. Oh, oh, is that crowbar for decoration to prove a point or weird sex? You know what? I don't think I want to ask. Uh, uh, ooh, ooh. Do you think those teeth are real? How did he get them so sharp and pointy? I don't know, but God forbid I get a blowjob from this guy. My (laughs) penis would turn into spaghetti. Guys, it's not all about looks. I mean, what did Nanji say? Beauty is in the eye of the crowbar holder or whatever. It's about who he is as a person, which may or may not be an escaped convict. Excuse me? Okay, well, I figured you'd have a lot to talk about. I mean, you've both been to prison, and you've both strangled people to death before. And what? Ah, just a cat. But that's not the same thing. I was trying to save Chairman Meow, not kill him. Mm, Were you, though? (sighs) Maybe think about that the next time you try and order a PS5 on my credit card, okay? I was going to let you play with it every other month. Before or after you ruined my Uber rating and my relationship with all my fuck buddies that I network with. Network with? Stay out of this, Mandy. I went to all this trouble, kind of, to find you a date like Mandy asked, and you have the audacity to act conflicted right now? At least this dude knows what you actually look like. Okay, well, since you're so high and mighty, can you explain to me who Gabriel is? How do you know about that? I checked my emails and saw a bunch of notifications from a Gabriel. Who's Gabriel? (sighs) Well, since the cat's out of the bag, he's my gay lover. What? How does that even work? Well, Mandy, I'm about to explain it to you. While I was scrolling on Scrub It Up Daddy, looking at mediocre middle-aged men and their basic white bathtubs, I found a guy who had my dream bathtub. Do you have a dream bathtub? Is it like a claw foot or something? I don't know what that means, but you're disgusting. It's called the Bubble Me Down Daddy with jets and detachable shower heads. I never understood the purpose of detachable shower heads. Um, what? What do you well, mean? I mean, like, why do you need it to come up from below? Like, can't you just stand under it? Well, it's for getting that one kitty extra clean. Okay, let me break this down. Mandy looks confused. What we're trying to say is to help women reach those hard to cream places if you know what i mean um i i really don't but i have a feeling it's something dirty so i'm just putting you in a timeout but i did but summer was being just as dirty as me too come on buddy. Yeah, this is mandy a- experts say that you're supposed to do time ins it's bad for self-esteem i i think derek's got fine self-esteem summer but just <sighs> just sit in the corner and think about what you just said and after this episode we're going to have yet another sensitivity meeting about what's appropriate to say on the air. Do you know how many meetings you make us have? We have a meeting every single recording. I'm exhausted. I don't have time for this. Uh, yeah, then maybe don't say the stuff that we have the meetings about. You know you can avoid this, right? Anyway, I hit this guy up and it turns out we have so much in common. We both like daddies, would fuck Jeff Goldblum probably, and wouldn't eat ass on the first date. It's like we're soulmates. Oh, no, not Jeff Goldblum, too. Okay. okay. Having things in common is nice and all, but that doesn't necessarily mean you're soulmates. Oh, here we go. Mandy's about to shit on my parade again. Summer, uh, that's not what I'm doing. I'm just saying. No, I don't want to hear it. I finally found the guy I want to settle down with. Can't you just be happy for me? 
Um, aren't you forgetting one small hiccup in your love affair? Mm, what? He's gay. Oh, is that all? But you're also catfishing him. I know, but hear me out. He already loves me. Well, the persona online I created. Maybe our love will overcome his sexuality. Oh, Summer. That sounds like a tagline for Pray the Gayaway Camp. I'm not helping. I just want to ride his goatee into a rainbow-colored sunset. Is that so wrong? Summer. Wow. Oh, Summer. You must really like this guy. I do, but he's a platinum star gay. Is that, like, the Kin- Kinsey scale or something? No, 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 no. Let me break it down for you. It's a gay guy who has never touched a vagina, and even at birth, all Platinums are born via C-section. Which means my chances of converting him is pretty slim. But I mean, how does he know he doesn't like it if he hasn't tried it? Summer, you're starting to sound like James Charles. Not true. All the guys I try to hook up with are over 18. Over 22. I mean, I like him old. I'm not Keemstar. Okay, and we're going to stop this conversation right here before we get sued. Again, I would like to state that everything we just said is alleged. And I would like to state that if you see either of them lurking in a high school parking lot, call the police. Not helping! Fine, I'll go back to my corner. Miss you, Derek. What's your end goal here? I plan on meeting him tonight, as myself. And hopefully he'll look past his homosexuality and I can turn that platinum star gay into an average bisexual. And worst comes to worst, we can just do anal. Plus, I love pegging. I could top. You know, Summer, that... Okay, so let me get this straight. Neither of you found a legitimate date for each other. That's right. Instead, we found the loves of our lives. And it's all thanks to you, Mandy. Excuse me? Well, if you never suggested that we traded our phones, this wouldn't have happened. Okay, so you're saying I'm responsible for the catfishing of two innocent people? Mm Mm-hmm. Yep, pretty much. I'm about two more episodes away from a mental breakdown. Well, if you're going to do one right now, can you do it quietly? Absolutely, yeah. We're trying to end the show here, and, like, you having, like, your issues is really going to kill the ratings. Okay, no, you you know what? You're both meeting up with the people you unintentionally chose for each other. Summer, you better make a stop at Party City on your way out. And Derek, I guess just invite him over to watch Independence Day or something. I guess I could ask him to show me his jet. I was planning on going home and getting hammered anyway. Wanda was probably going to make an appearance at some point. Okay, well, problem solved for... Half of you. Um, I guess it all worked out in the end. Yeah, not no. really. <sighs> I guess if I'm going to ruin a man's life tonight, it may as well be a straight ones. Today's episode of Still Single is brought to you by Second Life Sex Toys. Dildos. Dildos everywhere. They're filling your closets, your storage space. They're under the sink, in your car, your gym bag, under the stairs. The only place they aren't in is you. Why are you settling for the same suction cup dildo you've been using since freshman year? It's time for some new toys. It's time for those anal beads to brighten up someone else's Friday night. Second Life Sex Toys. Rehome after you moan. SCIs may or may not be included. Our lawyers are on standby.